I'm starting the recording now, but I'm actually uncertain whether or not my recording settings will pull through with this. Hopefully it will, because I'm pretty sure the game starts immediately. It's gonna start in full screen, isn't it? Oh. Well, it did start in full screen, but the... Nope, oh, there it is. I can't change the OBS settings anymore unless I alt-tab. But I'm afraid of something bad happening. Alright, no, I actually get put into a proper title screen. Oh, but here's the opening ad animation. Hold on, I think it'll be fine though. Ah, that's not nice seeing it in high fidelity. It's like this, unlike in the mobile version. It's all pixelated. It's the only animation like this in the game, though. Space to release. What? What are these controls? I can move with the mouse. No, I can't move with the mouse. One and two to... What is this? The controller everywhere! Auto shooting is nice. That should be a standard for bullet hell games anyway. Unless there's a real, unless they implement a really good reason to not shoot, like Toho's nine and eighteen. Dang it! Sorry, you got over. On the games and widescreen. At least remember how to play these characters, so this should be fine. Although I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to die here. What happens if I win though? You can't do anything about it. Sibis, go! Oh sure, you don't erase bullets, I just remembered. Oh, and there you go.
all the shooting game and things. Okay. Here we go. Excuse me. Alright, 1536 by 864 it is then. Anyway, I hope you like Never Ending Love and the other song, because you're never gonna hear them ever again. Exits the game. I want to change the control scheme. Why does it do that? Is this some sort of virus Trojanware or some other kind of bullshit like that? Has it's using controller configuration, but I don't have a controller plugged in anywhere. There's no way to change the controls. Wow, okay. Right, so uh, welcome to Burst Witch. This is a game on Steam, and you shouldn't buy it. Nor The soundtrack is great, but you shouldn't buy the soundtrack either. In fact, I wholly encourage people to just straight up pirate this game and get the OSP somewhere else for free. Unfortunately, both are very hard to do. At least until now. I will be dedicating my... a lot of some time to trying to repack this game. <laughs> because I am just that petty. So, Burst Witch is a PC game, as you can see here, since I'm making a let's play of it, but it's also a mobile game. They're very- they're two completely different games, though almost. And there's plenty of reasons for that, I can assume. This will be a Let's Play series, but I guess you could take this part one as sort of a first hour of gameplay type video that some people like to do. Although I'm wasting a lot of that by talking right now. So I found this game on Google Play Store once and I thought it was pretty cool. But it was increasingly clear that this wasn't really a good game at all. So the original mobile game was a gacha game. So just from that you can tell there's a lot of differences. Uh, the PC version of the game, for one, uh, rather than being free to play but with lots and lots of ga gambling involved, this game is completely free to play as far as uh, uh, is. Well, not free to play. Uh, you buy it and then that's it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this gacha game, from what I can tell, was made by some Chinese company. Whether or not they really were wholeheartedly trying their best to make a good and fun, albeit got a gacha game, a fun game regardless. However, it clearly didn't work. The game is still downloadable as far as I'm aware, you can still play it, however it's not it's not good. There's a lot of problems, especially if you're playing in English. And uh, it's basically in what people would call maintenance mode now for MMOs. Where there's no updates be happening anymore and the game the servers are just being kept running. So people can still play it and more accurately so that they can still make whatever money they can out of whatever loser so happens to pick up on the game and hopefully spend some money on it. And obviously, just in case the servers there shut down too, they can at least still keep their hard work project in the form of this PC game which is on Steam which is a bit more permanent and easier to maintain than running your own server. Anyway, we got our witches. 
Which, uh... I guess this is all we have. Wow, there are way less characters in this game. There's just two characters for each element. There were... There's supposed to be way more. Unless some of... Unless they're locked behind unlockables or something. Let's see here. According to the reviews, another baffling difference this game has from the original is that there's no plot. I mean, the plot wasn't told in a very good way, just pop-ups. Again, they had no reason not to, to remove that, considering how simple of a mechanic the story was. But yeah, this game has no plot. It's just good music and good graphics and gameplay. For some people, I guess that isn't that big of a deal. Okay then, so it appears this game, the PC port, does not run very well either. But the Steam reviews already made that very clear to me as well. Since the game clearly doesn't support keyboard configuration, I could just manually do it myself, I suppose through external means. Okay, the, the game straight up isn't responding. I think I need to restart. Yep. Yeah, so uh, if you're gonna pirate this game or get it legally, it doesn't matter. Just don't. Either way, just don't. Just don't. Well, the OSD is still good. Oh my god, why does it keep doing that every time every time I launch the game? This I swear this game probably mines Bitcoin or something. I'll make sure this let's play series is as fast as possible. I'm pretty sure piracy is easy enough. You can Google anything these days. Okay, let's try training again, and if that still doesn't work... Okay, here we go. Level zero. There is money, and it says I have zero. Well, at least there's only one type of currency. There's no rubies, which was the premium currency for the original. Everyone's level 1, so there's a skill tree instead. That's another difference from the original game, I suppose. In the original, uh, you leveled up your characters and stuff, but the major strength growth came from getting copies of characters, which... I don't even want to begin to describe how scummy that is. So it seems there's no story mode. Okay, wow, there's some dedicated players here from what I can gather. So Eternal Knights, I'm pretty sure is an endless mode, but then why is there then what about endless corridor? It's a roguelike. Great. I love roguelikes. And I'm totally not at all being sarcastic. So it seems there are, there's no stage gameplay. It's either this high score mode or the roguelike mode. What? We're just fighting the evil eye immediately?
he's Dark Affinity, so Sybil should be a good choice. But going neutral doesn't hurt. You are encouraged to switch characters a lot. They eventually get weaker over time, you see. I assume off that is the same here, but yeah, there's there's no proper tutorial for this game, it seems. It's also in full widescreen, which is very awkward. There's a lot of wide space for street for left right streaming. Which the wider your screen, the easier a bullet hell game becomes. That's why Toho doesn't do that. It's a boss rush. Chaos Elemental for this guy, I guess. Oops. Yeah, uh, your characters have a health bar system, but there's no there's no feedback for when you get hit. Or very little. Obviously, you can see your HP going down. But there's no cooldown or anything. If you get hit, you can get hit simultaneously, just like an Ender Lilies. I give up. <laughs> just get it over with. I got money. So these six are actually literally all the characters you have access to. That freaking sucks. And yeah, you saw the, it's version one. They had they have no plans of ever updating this game or the or the mobile one as well. so you can unlock more characters. Seems most of the 5 stars are here, at least. Keyword being most. I don't remember, but there are probably a few missing. Well, some of the uh, 4 stars are here as well. The 3 stars aren't here, but let's be honest, those guys aren't good anyway. They'd probably have to buff them if they wanted to put them in and no one cares about them. They didn't look all that great and stuff. What's this mean by the levels and stuff? Uh, I'll go with Olivia since I had Olivia and I kind of like her gameplay. What's this mean by Total at which cards awakening. Battle synthesis. Ah, so I don't get it. I don't maybe they're not playable. Start off in the lowest level, and you're stuck. And I'm and I'm guessing you always stuck. You always start off as this character. What the hell is this? Bombs. Oh, I can buy I can buy them all if I want to. Uh, I pressed base bar. 
at any time to upgrade. I see. It's it's literally just leveling up. It's basically a cookie clicker. This isn't even a roguelike. Well, I guess apparently someone compared it to Devil Survivors. I've never played the game though, but I can assume that this game is... That game is loads more fun than this. Hmm. Well, Steam has a refund policy, right? Maybe it's not too late. I don't fucking know, just fucking pick whatever. Can these guys even hurt me? They can, but not by much. So it's just murder, murder, murder. Oh, I... Not enough... Go... Fuck. <laughs> to get a new slot and there's nothing to upgrade. Ah, there's a level up meter. There's not even any bullet hell involved here. This is just roguelike. And I need to do this for 20 minutes. Why would I do that? Just move left and right. For sure there's a way to get rid of people. Yeah. Keep waiting for the next lot. I know this is a bad example of this type of game, but I don't really see how people enjoy these. Oh, hey, there's some actual bullets being fired now. Get a new s slot.
god, I level up so much. All you get for it, though, is a free refresh. I guess the upgrades are worth it for now. I guess I kinda need them. I really don't know how these games work anyway. Waves finally stopped. Actually, gonna go to the top of the screen for her desperation. Five minutes is long enough to get you one of the rewards. Uh, for legal reasons, I guess I should tell you I'm only si the things I said are just a joke. Now I can change characters. Game mode is in the original mobile, from what I remember. You played as your generic self, ass self, you're literally just a circle. But with your character image in the center. I believe my time's nearly up. in the next phase now or something. And that's the end for me. Continue and retry our terrible, terrible phrasing. to get anywhere near those scores along with being good you also need to uh, it's a permanent upgrade interesting huh well it seems this really is everything there is to the game though. Ain't that just sad? <laughs>